two rounds, they shot 27% from the three-point line. And remember in the San Antonio, uh, San Antonio series, it was Derek Fisher. He hit 15 up 20. And when you look at that three-point shooting, remember now, the Sixers had cut it to three in game two. Two minutes to go. Fisher hits the big three to push it to six. And then in game three, a one-point game, the ball swings to Ori. He hits a big three to make it four. So not only have they shot the ball well, but well at the right time. Iverson with 33 points, but he's had the one spurt and too late. With the Lakers now up by 12. Ori under pressure. Holly looking for the steal. Lakers now just looking to take as much time as possible. Coming up on two minutes remaining in this fourth quarter. Here's Kobe Bryant. Yes. Oh. He's had a quiet game tonight when you look at it points-wise, but you know what? He was in such control. Shaq had it going early. He had eight assists in the first half. Well, he took six shots early in the game because his teammates were in a great flow. That's the patience that Phil talked about us and how proud he was of Kobe, especially coming back to Philadelphia where he went to high school. Iverson now has 35. Kobe Bryant, 18 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists. So one assist away from a triple-double, which would be the first since 93. He's fouled by Jermaine Jones. All right, during the timeout, just a moment ago, here's Larry Brown talking to his team. Just keep playing. Couldn't be prouder of the way we're playing, all right? Shit. The effort's phenomenal. Most teams would have gone home a long time ago. Let's hey, keep going. Keep going. JJ, get some out of these last few minutes. Well, Larry Brown trying to uh, tell his club to hang in, obviously looking ahead to uh, game number five here on Friday night. Lakers now lead by 13. A minute and a half remaining in this fourth quarter. Tom McCullough lost it. It'll be interesting on Friday night, game five. Now, Mark, remember last year, they were up 3-1 on Indiana at game five in Indiana, and the Lakers really didn't show up. You've got to give the Pacers a lot of credit. I think they beat it by about 35 points. Will this team be more mature and want to finish this game here or finish this championship in Philadelphia? They'll make a mistake if they play it that they've got two games at home. You better play it to try to finish it. Remember, Indiana almost won game six in L.A. last year. Here's Rodney Buford. And the Lakers are on their way to making it 22 wins in their last 23 games. A remarkable streak. In particular, when you consider where they came from during the first half of the season. Fisher for three. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Fisher with 10 points. And that is his second from downtown. So the 76ers continue their red hot shooting from the three point area. 10 out of 19 from beyond the three point line. Buford with 18 seconds remaining. Lakers 100 and the Sixers 86. So the Los Angeles Lakers with a commanding three games to one lead over the Philadelphia 76ers who are hearing cheers from the crowd. It's a tough crowd here in Philadelphia, but they have appreciated this hustling 76er ball. Club. Well, and, and well they should. This team has given them their heart and soul. We've seen them climb back in uh, every series being from behind, finding ways to win, winning in critical game seven. And right now, Marv, they're just overmatched against this Laker team that's playing terrific basketball. Shaq is on top of his game, and they're getting unbelievable play from the rest of their team. Shaq with 34, Kobe with 19, Iverson finished with 35. Let's check in with Jim Gray. Jim? All right, thank you very much. Kobe Bryant, you were just one assist away from a triple-double. <laughs> But the Sixers made a heck of a run again. You said at halftime, you can't go for the jugular. Why not with this group? Well, they keep on fighting, and they score in bunches. So, you know, it's important for us that you remain poised when they make their run and uh, continue to do what we do. 
it seemed as though the offense was in sync tonight. But can you talk about the great disparity in threes, you guys? Uh, I think you made nine more than the 76ers did. No, I love you. Well, what we did was you just say that again. I love you, Kobe. Well, all we did was we just threw the ball in the, in the shack and let them double team. And you know, when they collapsed their defense, we just kick it out to our shooters, and everybody was making shots. No team has ever come back, Shaq, from a three games to one deficit. Is this series over? For us, you know, we're just focusing on one more win. You know, we've uh, been in this situation last year. We had a lot of scary moments. This year, we wanted to just come and take care of business all the time. We let one game slip away, so for us, it's just focusing on getting one win, and we're going to try to do that on Friday. Have you learned a lesson from what happened last year in Indiana? You had a, a, a great game, and then you guys came out and lost by 30 points on the next attempt. I don't think we uh, learned a lesson. I think it was a learning experience for us. And, uh, you know, for us, it's just one more win. You love him as well? All right, right back at him, man. <laughs> right back at him. A love fest. Who would have ever thought that? Back to you, Marv. All right, thanks, Jim. And the Lakers are now 7-0 on the road in the playoffs, tying the 1995 Houston Rockets' most consecutive road wins in a single postseason. Lakers up three games to one. We'll be back in a moment.